on guys so I just got a package in um, from the steel armadillo so on my Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee I have some toggle switches that I want to have a bezel or a uh, plate for them um, I'll show you real quick what I mean um, so So right here, I have some switches, you know, it's just sat in there and stuff like that. So the Steel Armadillo, they have these plates, you know, they have different options. So this is the front, it replaces right here. So they got a four switch and also a three switch plus I have adjustable paddles on my Jeep so anyways um, just a quick video on it and see how it fits and how it mounts up um, so here it's pretty simple I kind of like the Jeep's uh, design right here it just pulls down right there this literally just pops right out. There's no screw or anything. So. There's that. Let's see. Um, there's that camera there. So this right here. I'm kind of stoked to finally get this, you know, cleaned up. I just drilled a hole in the back of this cup thing, little holder. So, uh, let me take a picture real quick so I remember how I wired this. So I'll remember. So I'll plug these and these I just individually pulled in and out, I think. Kind of glad to finally clean this up. Alright. So this basically goes, you know right here I was gonna make myself one but I'm like uh, it's just too much work especially when you already have this connector it basically just connects right in but got to put this back plate on right here and this goes you know obviously like that and this is actually what whole sandwiches the whole plate on so it's so simple to do your own I just don't have time. I just want to clean this up real quick. <clears throat> I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. I don't remember. Their website was down and I bought it, but it said there was an error. So I wasn't even sure if I even bought it. So I just never bothered with it. So I guess I did buy it. <laughs> and it came in yesterday. So put that on. And then it came with the screws. They have different types of screws that they offered they had um, cap screws and whatnot so these screws are actually pretty freaking long I don't know why they give you such long screws so sorry about how dirty my car is I don't even drive this thing anymore it's a gas guzzler for being a stupid V6 So basically it sits in my front yard rotting away. I'm too scared to drive it too because it keeps having head gasket and valve seat issues. So I don't even bother driving it anymore.
screw. So I still got the factory switch for the, what is it called? So that's good. That's what I was looking for, is the factory switch for my pedals. It'd be nice if they actually like bent this bracket into the contour of the panel because it's not totally you know square you know I mean if they would have shaped it more angled it'd be better I'll probably do it later but this is like um, paint like maybe powder coated I don't know what it exactly is so I'm not sure how it would hold up bending in my crack or chip or something but I'm gonna find an Allen wrench real quick or Allen thing and I'll be right back well, I think I'm gonna take this off and try to slightly bend it or something I don't like how it sits I think one of the little set screw things came off on one of these, the plates, whatever. Yeah, it did, totally. <laughs> one of the press fittings came off. What a rip off. Whatever, cheap. I'm going to see if I could round this a little bit. Probably not because they welded this. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Anyways, let's redo it. <laughs> Good enough, right? Wait a minute. might try to repress this in or something. Sheep, man. Damn. First quality check right there. Fucking the press thing came out. Like, come on, really? What kind of shitty press work was that? God damn. I might just put it together right in front of me and just kind of wedge it in there. Like that.
so at least it doesn't fall out on me. Same with that one. I don't know if I have the right size. Allen wrench. I thought I had one, but I guess I don't. Sucks, none of these work. Thought it was a, what is it called, but it won't work. Those won't work either. work oh yeah this works okay All right, well, that's that. Um, I had a, just a blank. I can close this now. I had a blank switch for this. Let me look. Let me look exactly how these switches went. Shit, there's two whites. Oh well. Red, white, short one, longer black. This should be it. I think. Maybe not. See what else I'm missing. Black, white, white. 
Missing this white up here. I think I need a swift um, power. Oh. Let me see. So I had it like that. I wired it right um, blocks up on top or whatever so the guy who did the head gasket he broke one of the wires and he didn't you know put it back together so it works but there's no power to this right now so um, oh. <sighs> switch is a little loose this one's loose too huh well, but anyways um, Looks all right. I need to buy one more switch to blank that off or whatever. But anyways, the quality on this, I don't know. One of those little press rivet, uh, press uh, nuts on there popped out. So that's garbage. I forget how much I paid for it. But if you're interested in this, I only bought it because of the switch right here. I was going to make one. If I didn't have the foot pedal adjustment switch, I would have made it myself. But um yeah, so um, I got it from the Steel Armadillo. They do a few things for the WK and WK2s or whatever they are. So I'll put the I'll put the link in the description on where to get it if you choose to do it. You know, but I would totally paint these these cap screws because they don't look like they're like um, you know rust resistant so I think it's gonna rust eventually but anyways so if you enjoy this video hit that like subscribe um, um, so my overall is that piece of metal really worth the price I don't think so but it makes it a lot cleaner I guess and maybe that's why they charge so much for it but if you can make it make one it's worth it so anyways catch you guys later